Okay, so now let's uh, talk about now uh, semigroups of operators. Now we will be in Banach spaces. We will no longer be in uh, matrix spaces. So now we will have um, the, the problem will be to find uh, all maps. Okay, but now the maps will go from or plus to LX linear operators, okay, in max space that satisfies uh, the functional equation. And once again, the functional equation will be T of T plus S equal to TT multiplied by TS. This is for all TS greater than equal than zero and now we will have the t of zero is the identity operator. Okay, so we'll define okay a family t t t greater or equal to zero of uh, bounded um, linear operators. Is called uh, one parameter semigroup on X. Now X is a Banach space if it satisfies uh, the functional equation. Okay. Okay, so if we take any operator, okay, a linear operator, uh, then as the same as the matrix case, we can define an operator value exponential function, ETA, equal to the sum, once again, k equals zero to infinity of tk, ak, k factorial. Okay, just the same way as we did in the matrix case. The conversions of this series take place in a Banach algebra, this is all Banach space. Okay, and uh, you can use the same arguments as in the matrix case. One can show that uh, e ETA um, satisfies the functional equation, okay, and uh, and the different different uh, differential equation. Um, okay, so we have the same theorems uh, for the operator case. Okay, okay, so now uh, let's define. Um, oh, um, one parameter semigroup TT, okay, with uh, T greater than or equal to zero on a Banach space. X, um, is called uniformly continuous um, or norm con continuous if this is by definition if the map t t t Okay, this is in LX, this is in the real positive numbers if this map is continuous. Okay, this is uh, with respect to the uniform operator topology in LX, okay? But this is what we've been using all the time. Okay, so knowing this, now Ethereum, every 
uniformly continuous um, semigroup TT with T greater than or equal to zero. Um, on the benefit space X is of the form TT equal to ET A, okay, but always greater than zero. This is for some bounded operator A. A is in LX, okay. The proof of this is the same as in the matrix case or in the scatter case, even. You just uh, define Vt as uh, um, the integral of COT of ds ds, okay, and uh, then uh, one has to see that the limit on t goes to zero of Vt uh, over t is. Uh, T0 equal to the identity, and we have the same steps. We have um, that for T0, for a T0 are sufficiently small, um, BT0 will be invertible, and then we follow the same steps that we made in the matrix version. So Uniform continuity is too strong. There are other types of semigroups that uh, are not uh, that are not uniform. This will be the um, the strongly continuous semigroups. Let's define them. So, a family TT. Of uh, bounded uh, linear operators on uh, a Banach space X is called strongly continuous semigroup also they're called C0 semi-groups um, if well first has to satisfy has to satisfy the functional equation okay so t of t plus s has to be equal to tt ts and t of 0 has to be what you identity, this remains the same, but the difference would be that now the map t to t t x has to be continuous, okay, from r plus into x, and this is for every little x in big X by an extra space. Okay, so uh, when we had uh, um, uniform continuity, we didn't have this X, so we were asking more. Now we're just uh, asking for TT multiplied by X to be um, Continuous. Or um, another way of seeing this, um, instead of putting x, we put f. So uh, strongly continuous um, property can be written as uh, the limit when t goes to zero of t t. And now instead of x, let's put f. So now, if the limit when t goes to zero. Of the TF 
for 2f and this is for each f in Benach space x with respect to the normal on x, okay? Okay, so if we suppose that we have um, a semi-group uh, ETA, which we already saw that is a uh, uniform it's, a, it's also a C0 semi-group, but also a uniform, more strong. Okay, so and uh, so we know that the uh, derivative is a t a, okay, which is also a t t, okay, and we already saw that. So we the other notation that we had. T0 is equal to A. Okay, so this gives us some clue of uh, how we can generate uh, a semigroup. Okay, so perhaps we can obtain A of a semigroup by taking the derivative and evaluating in T equal to 0. Okay. Okay, so a definition T is a semigroup or C0 semigroup, let's say. Okay, so the infinitesimal generator of T. Okay, in this case, will be denoted by A is given by the equation A of F equal to the limit when T goes to 0 plus of let's say ATF, but this will be a definition T of T F minus F over T. Okay, okay, so uh, the generator A is uh, obtained by differentiation, differentiation the semi group T and this tells us that um, that uh, the the semigroup will solve the differential equation. Okay. Okay. So it's important to know that um, T T equals to E T A equals to the series the sum from k equals 0 of uh, tk ak k factorial okay is a uh, uniformly continuous semigroup will be but when we have the condition that a is bounded okay because it's going to be important to know if A is bounded or not, to know if the semigroup will be uniformly continuous or will be uh, just uh, strongly continuous or C0 semigroup. Because um, recall that for the C0 semigroup, we need to know that. Um, TTF minus F is to go to zero, but in the case of uh, the um, uniformly continuous semigroup, and as we did in this case, we did it in the case of matrices. Um, in the, in the case of Banach spaces, is the same. We needed to prove something stronger. That was the TT minus little dt. With one T go to zero or zero.